Welcome back families and friends to my channel. Um, tonight I'm making lamb neck chops for dinner with gravy. Let's start cooking. I am using the following ingredients. Lamb neck chops. Chopped onions. All purpose flour. Garlic powder. Rosemary, salt, black pepper, dark soy sauce, beef stock, and oil for frying and cooking. We will start by adding hot water to the meat. We will let the meat sit in the bowl for a few minutes. We will drain the water and then we will come back and add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, I'll transfer my neck chops onto a tray. Let me go ahead and add some salt to my neck chops. So I'm using the low sodium salt, add some black pepper as well, and then I'll go ahead and sprinkle some of the rosemary too on that side. I'll go ahead with my flour, sprinkle on top as well. Turn it over and continue seasoning the other side as well. Do the same with salt. So the rest of the rosemary, garlic, pepper, and just a little bit of the flour. I'll use the rest of the flour um, later on. We'll just put this aside and let it marinate for a few minutes while we heat up our pot. This gravy takes um, a very short time, apart from the browning. It will be ready within 40 minutes, especially with the lamb. It takes forever to cook, uh, but we will use, um, I will use my instant pot and that will cook our gravy a lot faster. Okay, our pot is slowly getting hot. I'm going to add my um, oil. Let me go ahead and add my neck chops. All I'm doing here is I'm browning the, give it a bit, bit of colour, and then I'll cook it in the instant pot. Put our lid on, and let's turn the over, a nice colour there, and it smells good too with the rosemary. Okay, put our lid back on. Don't you love that sound of sizzling from our cooking? I love that. I love how I get the feedback from our community and um, viewers, thank you so much. I've received so much love with your comments uh, about the recipes. And the main reason why I started this channel is that I, I love cooking and I love sharing uh, with anyone that would like to use the recipe. Maybe some of you might not like the recipes I share, but I know there's someone out there that um, my videos or the recipes I share could help them. So thank you so much, uh, my wonderful viewers, subscribers. I really appreciate the love and support from all of you. And if you have tips for me, please go ahead and share it. I would love to get feedback from you with some of the cooking I make. Um, 
I'm, I'm also here to learn. Um, please, I'm happy to get any feedback or tips from you um, about recipes. That would be uh, much appreciated. Families and friends. Okay, so these are done. I'm going to transfer them into the pot of my instant pot. Nice color there. Keep adding more. Adding the rest. Just back on. It's ready. Longer. Okay. That's done. I'm just scraping out a little bit of those burnt flour. Not all of it, it's just a little bit. Especially the burnt one on the side. And that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and add my onions. I need all those flavorings that are stuck to the pot. Add a little bit of oil. Okay, I'll add more flour. Let's go ahead now and add our beef stock. I'm also adding a little bit of that um, soy sauce, the dark soy sauce, and then I'll give it a good stir. That soy sauce is just for colour, adding a bit of colour to the gravy. Only a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and taste and season our gravy before we add it to the... Yeah. It's all right now. Mm. I add a little bit of salt. Okay, that's it. That's the gravy part. Um, we're now going to transfer the gravy to the pot of the instant pot. Here it is. Look how nice and brown our lamb chops. Let's go ahead and transfer our gravy in here. Smells amazing and full of flavor too. I'm going to close our instant pot now. So I'm setting it up, turning it to seal. I'm also going to um, set up my instant pot to pressure cooker, turn it to manual, and then I'll change the cooking time to 30 minutes. I will cook our meat for about 30 minutes. Only because the lamb chops are a little bit thick. So, so cook it on pressure cooker manual for half an hour or 30 minutes. Make sure you seal the vents and then press start. Okay. All right. Let's cook that away for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and serve our dinner. I can't wait, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, families and friends, I have cooked our meat and it has been cooking for um, 40 minutes. I had to add an extra 10 minutes because after 30 minutes it was still a bit tough. So um, 40 minutes all up, I cooked it for. And it's, if you can see, it's nice and tender now. Uh, let's go ahead, plate our food, and taste and enjoy it for dinner. Okay, there it is. That looks yummy. I'm excited to taste our um, lamb neck chops. Um, say prayer first. Okay, so our lamb chop is sitting on a bed of mashed potato. I have some veggies here too. Look how nice and tender our meat. Yum. Mmm. So good. Mashed potato. Some cauliflower. Mmm. That meat just fall off the bone. Yum. Mmm. -mm. Yum yum. Well, that's our dinner, everyone. I hope you um, 
have liked that recipe. Simple uh, lamb neck chop with gravy and serve with any sides of your choice. Mashed potato, steamed veggies, rice and the list goes on. Kalo and bananas, roast potato. Um, tastes really nice uh, with the flavoring of rosemary and the spices, salt and pepper. Um, that is our dinner. Once again, thank you for tuning in to my channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, um, support my channel and hit that subscribe button below. Um, it will help me a lot to put more content on and to share more recipes. I have a lot of recipes um, lining up, so I'm here, I'm not going to go away, and I'll keep cooking, um, and keep sharing with you. Take care everyone, and thank you for watching, see you next time, bye.